Welcome back to Danimal Sound. This is Danny Lee. And in this video, we're going to talk quickly about basically copying and pasting data um, between adjacent tracks. And this is focused around a particular hotkey for basically jumping tracks. I'm going to introduce you to the P and the colon key. This might sound trivial to a lot of my more experienced uh, colleagues in the audio field with Pro Tools, but this has come up in conversation a lot recently with friends who are just starting out. So I figured I'd just do a quick video on it. And here I've got a song by my artist, Carm Grasso, Inner Demon, I've used for other tutorials. What we're going to do is just an example. We're going to take some of these rhythm guitars, and I'm just going to write some automation, and I'll show you how to copy it to basically any other place in the session in the vertical sense. So we're going to take these rhythm guitars, say, just in this intro section, So we've got these two rhythm guitars here, they're basically the main left and right in this section. So I'm just going to write some quick automation here with my cursor. And we'll just dock the track, maybe throw some other random moves in here. And this is just for pure logistical argument's sake. So now I've got this move going on. And obviously it's just a random volume move just to write some data into the automation. So Let's say we want, actually like this idea and we want to copy it to the uh, neighboring guitar part, basically the right side version of that same part. What a lot of people will do, if they don't know any better, they'll highlight this section like so, they'll copy it, and then they'll come down here, and before long, you've lost your exact spot where the cursor was. So on a whim, let's just say you've copied it here but now it doesn't line up with where you copied it from. So in order to make sure it locks to the timeline, what we'll do is we'll come back, we'll select this again, we'll copy it again, and now we'll use the colon key to bring us down one track. So now we're down here, and we'll paste it there. Voila. So now we are exactly um, where we started as far as the exact positioning in the timeline. So now we saw all these together, the move is exactly the same. And just for argument's sake, if I wanted to copy this to the next track down as well, which is another sort of auxiliary guitar, it's still in my clipboard, so we just hit colon again, paste, and now all three of these guitar clips are following the same automation move. And I'm just using volume as a quick general example, but this can apply to virtually any data that you're focused on in the track. If you switch to pan view, for instance, it would do the same thing with that. Another quick side note though, say we're in waveform view. When um, There's actually a, a thing in the preferences about this, but I have it set up in mine where if I'm in waveform view and I copy this particular clip and paste it, it actually uh, brings with it all of the automation data contained therein. So say there's pan automation, mute automation, etc. It basically lumps all that together within this uh, one waveform. So when you're in this view, just be careful that if you've got a bunch of data being written as far as, you know, say your volume, mute, pan, whatever, if you've got multiple things going on right there, if you're in waveform view and you have that selected in your preferences, it will bring all that with it when, when you paste elsewhere. So just be mindful of that. Otherwise, if you're just in a specific view such as just volume or just pan, 
it will just do that particular automation. And again, just to reiterate, to go up and down in the timeline, you're just going to hit P. And to go down, you're going to hit colon. And it might sound kind of trivial, like I said, but often overlooked and never overused. If you guys got any more questions on this particular subject or anything else you'd like to see uh, demonstrated in the video, please hit me up at the Danimal Sound website, which is www.dannylee.co. That's D-A-N-N-Y. L-E-E dot C-E-O, or see us on Facebook at facebook.com backslash Danimal Sound. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time. Cheers.